Hi guys and welcome back to YG Waiters. <laughs> It's the beginning of the week and I have a trunk club today. Very excited. There's a lot of stuff in here. I did already go ahead and open it up and take all the plastic wrap off of it because that's just a hassle when you have to do all that. And I already knew what I was getting because you do have a stylist who goes through, picks some things that you've selected or that you've asked for and you get to approve it and then the things that you don't approve, they send you replacements for, kind of based on your feedback. So I do know what's in here, but I've not seen it in person, so I'm very excited. Let's open it up and get going. So first is this dress by Free People. It's a little boho dress. Cute cutout in the back. It was very substantial. Like it's a very like heavy, nice embroidery. I'm thinking this one is expensive. Oh, and don't mind, I like have a cough drop in my mouth because I've been sick for like three weeks and I'm trying to get over it and I don't wanna be hacking during the video. So I just popped one of those in. All right, next we have uh, I'm hoping these fit because they are a size bigger than I normally wear, but these are Madewell jeans. So you, these are the 10 inch high rise skinny, just a plain kind of mid wash, maybe the dark wash. I do have a pair of Madewell jeans that are almost just like this, um, but I do love them. So Let's see what those look like. Next is a top by Thread for Thought. It's a little cropped and has this crossover tie. This is a real crossover or wrap. It does have a little pin up here, so that's good. And it's a really different material. It's kind of like tearing it, like a washcloth. But I like it. I think it would be nice for summer. It's very much my style. Next is this t-shirt by Madewell. Kind of a, I want to say mustard, maybe like Dijon mustard because it has like a little greenish tint to it. But I did want to try one of those because I have not tried a Madewell t-shirt before and I do really like t-shirts. Next is also from Madewell. This is a shrunken cardigan. So we'll see what that looks like. Probably open, I don't know. It probably stretches pretty good though. This is a nice material too. It's like a ribbed, I'll show you. And I love these buttons in the front. Like that's a style that I just love. Okay, next we have a shirt by Lucky. This is another kind of boho-ish. It's a cream, has a front tie, and then it has this pretty purple embroidery. All along the top. Cute. Sleeves are just a little elastic. Oh, next we have this beautiful, bright yellow, orangish yellow shirt. This is by Bowden. That's a really pretty color. Very nice for summer. It has this really cute detail. I keep having to come up and show you guys the detail of this stuff because it's so intricate. And then the sleeves, and it's like that on the bottom as well. So that's cute. Next is a wrap dress. This is by Halogen. Navy. Looks like a good length. It looks like the, the waist might be a little bit more drop. 
So I've been trying some wrap dresses lately and I feel like the waist just doesn't hit me where I need it to hit me to look well because I'm short torsoed. So we will see on that one, but that's cute, nice and soft. Next is a top by Hinge. It's another kind of little boho-ish top. This looks like it's gonna be very wide. So I'm not sure on this one. And it does look like it's linen too. Let's look at the, I think linen is very wrinkly. Yes, 55% linen, 45% rayon, which I think rayon is also a very wrinkly fabric. So we'll see. You never know till you get it on, right? All right, next is a Vince Camuto little top. This looks like it's supposed to be sort of crinkly and it also looks like it's silk. Let's look at this material. Oh, it's just polyester. No worries. <laughs> So we'll see what that looks like. I did ask for some red tops. Oh, I also asked for this. So this is a denim shirt. It is by Topshop. It's kind of a Western style. I kind of wanted one that was a little stretchy so I could wear it like over leggings and stuff. Um, but the length looks pretty good on this. So we'll check that out. And lastly, is this very cozy looking cardigan by Hinge. It's a gray color. This sort of looks boxy too, but we'll see what it looks like on. It seems very cozy though. All right, we gotta get to trying on, right? How have you guys been? What's been going on? Who else is getting another snowstorm tonight? Woo! So excited. We'll see if we have school tomorrow. Again, it's been crazy. It's been a crazy winter and school year, really. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, I'm going to try these on and then we'll go over the prices at the end. Okay, I apologize for being in my kitchen, but it was kind of the best option for lighting because I didn't want to wait until the next day because I'm just so anxious to try this stuff on. So, I think this is okay. I don't love it. It's not quite my style. It's a little big, so the armpit holes are big. You can see my bra in the back where that cutout is. So you'd have to wear a tank or something underneath it, which I'm just not going to do. So a little bit more of a high maintenance dress than I would wear. But I think that all of this detail is very pretty. It's just not, just not for me. All right, here is the navy dress. You are going to have to let me all, let me all, what? Y'all are going to have to let me know what you think of this dress. Um, I still feel like it's a little short waisted, like it's not hitting me where I want it to hit me. Um, the coverage is pretty good. It has pockets. I mean, come on. It's a good length. I do sort of like how the Sleeves bow out a little bit. It's good under the armpit, which is good. I just don't know about this part. All right, I have the very tent-like red top on, the Madewell jeans, which actually do fit pretty great. And I just popped on my little leopard shoes I got from 
Stitch Fix because I feel like this is kind of spring for me. We'll be wearing these tops with these shoes and a pair of jeans. So yeah, um, they are very high, very high rise. Very, very high rise. And this top is just not flattering. <laughs> I do love the color, but yeah, it is not for me. All right, here is the lucky top and I still have the Madewell jeans on. Just gonna keep these on for the rest of the video. Um, again, I think it's just a little boxy, but it's very soft. Um, I, again, I like the embroidered detail. It's just, it's just not for me. Not my kind of top. All right, here's a Vince Camuto shirt. It's big again, um, too big in the arms. I don't love the shininess of it. And I'm gonna put um, this shrunken cardigan over it. Which actually is very cute. This would look nice actually over that navy dress. Alright, this is cute. I feel like I should have put my hair up for this video. You can't see all the details of everything. So yeah, I really like the color and I like the cut. This would be nice in the spring. Okay, okay, I think this is cute too. It's great length. I like the wrap aspect of it. It's comfortable. I think this would look great even with shorts or with like a black skirt or even like over a black dress, like a strappy dress or something. So yeah, this is a possibility too. Cute. And here's the Madewell t-shirt. I also think this is very cute. It's a good length. And I'm just gonna knock out the rest of these cardigans in this denim shirt too. So let's try this on again. This is so cute and different than anything else I have. It's very flattering. It kind of goes in like this. And I really do think I would just wear it open. But that's adorable. Over a t-shirt or over something dressy. It could go many ways. Okay. Here's the denim. I would not personally wear denim and denim, although I know a lot of people do. But I was thinking with like a v-neck tee or like, um, like a like an oversized white tee over leggings. But yeah, I don't know. I don't love the white buttons on these, snap buttons on these. Not my favorite. Okay. Cardigan is last and then we'll go over pricing.
Okay, so this as I thought, it is very boxy and wide feeling. I mean, it would be cozy. You could just kind of like cozy into it, but mm, I don't know. It just fits, it feels weird, like up here or something. It's okay. All right, let's go over pricing. Here's my big old pile. All right, let's talk about pricing. So I know that a couple things were like over a hundred bucks, like the Madewell jeans. So I don't love them and I already have a pair that I got cheaper. So I probably will not be keeping those, <clears throat> but they are $128, no, $135. All right, the Sleeveless Rumpel Blouse by Vince Camuto. This was on sale and it's $47.99. So it's okay. I like the red color. It was just a little shiny for me and it was too big. The armholes didn't fit well. Next, we have the Whisper Cotton V-neck Pocket Tee by Madewell. That is this guy. And this is 1950. I liked it. I feel like it's just like a basic tee. Like I get these at like the gap and I feel like you get them on sale for like 10 bucks. So uh, we'll see, maybe. Next, we have the short sleeve wrap top by Madewell in ivory. That is this one. And this is 45. I thought this one was really cute and a, f a flattering length on me, I felt. So that's a maybe. I do have some credit, so I'm not going to be paying these prices per se. Um, I will get a discount on them because I have the credit. The Shrunken Ribbed Cardigan by Madewell in Ivory. Mm. $69.50. I did really like this one. What did you guys think? Was it as flattering as I thought it was on camera? Did it look good? It's really soft and nice. I like it. Something different that I don't have. So that's a maybe. The Embroidered Peasant Top by Lucky. Just too big and boxy for me, not really. I mean, I like boho, but just has to be a certain kind of boho, I feel like. This was on sale too. This is by Lucky, multicolor, $49.99. This is gonna go back as well. All right. The Day Glow Mini Dress by Free People in green. That was this guy that's embroidered. That was too big. This is $128, so going back. Full wrap dress by Halogen in navy. This one. I need to know about this one, too. Like, what did that look like on me? Um, I really did like the, how the sleeves were, and I love the pockets, and I thought the length was good. It was very comfortable. Just not sure on how the waist hits me, so let me know. This one is $69. Mm. So that's a maybe. All right. The short sleeve linen blend top by Hinge. This guy, too big. So definitely going back, but this one was $69. Too much for a shirt that does not fit right. Okay, Point Now Detail Cotton Blend Cardigan in Gray Heather by Hinge is $79. I'm not going to spend that on this either. It was okay. A little boxy. The Fitted Denim Shirt by Topshop in Mid Denim is $48. Not a horrible price, but... I feel like I've seen a lot of these Western shirts and they can't be that much different. They're all cotton, right? And I don't like the, I don't like the button snaps. Like I would rather have like dark buttons, I feel like on a shirt and I want it to be a little more oversized. So I'm going to hold out. 
going back. And then this sweet little yellow top, I thought was cute. This is by Bowden. It's in the color Happy. And it's $55. 55 for a t-shirt seems pretty steep. Um, I'll try it on again and see what I think. So this is in my maybe for now, but I'm not quite sure. So here's my cute little maybe pile. So what, one, two, three, four, five things out of 12 items. So we'll see what happens. This is actually my birthday trunk club. My birthday's on Monday and I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm just over 700 right now. I don't know. I have like five days or something to get there. Can you all get me there? Share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me read my note for my stylist. So I did have a stylist a while ago and she did a couple of my trunks and then I had a new stylist. And she did one trunk. And then she sent me um, another preview. And I did not like anything. It was very, like, old lady looking, I want to say. It just was not my style. And so I thought about it and I thought about it. And I declined the whole thing because there was really nothing. There was, like, maybe one thing that I would have, like, maybe tried on. And I was like, oh, I hate doing it. Like, I feel so bad, but I declined it. And then I asked for a new stylist. So this is my third stylist with Trunk Club and only like my fourth trunk. Miss Picky over here. Sorry. My girl now, Caitlin, did say that she totally understands she is the most picky person too. So... That was a relief to hear that from her because I was feeling very bad. Anyways, it says, welcome to your birthday trunk, Jill. So excited to get another trunk out to you with some great, more great pieces to add to your wardrobe. Once you receive this trunk, I'll touch base to talk about the pieces while you still have them so that I can answer any questions and help with any styling tips you might need. Can't wait to hear from you. Best, Caitlin. I thought Caitlin did a very nice job. I do like quite a bit of it and I felt like it fit pretty well. So, yeah, good job, Caitlin. Thank you, thank you. I have some more boxes coming. I have Stitch Fix coming on my birthday, so I'm so excited about that. I also just got an email from Nally Attire. They are kind of re, I don't want to say branding, but they're like restructuring and they have some exciting stuff coming up and they are sending me a complimentary box in the mail. I mean, I don't get to keep everything, but there's no styling fee. So um, I will do a video on that and they'll probably launch like the whole new um, what did I call it? Structuring. The restructuring. <laughs> Their pricing and stuff. So Stay tuned for that, and we'll see you guys next time.